different times when you have an agreement that you've met with, you've convened all the parties, I'm talking about the speaker, the president, and yourself, to talk about an agreement. Have you been talking with the speaker and the president so far, and what is their take on this situation? Well, sir, I cannot speak, nor would I presume to speak for either Senator Harris or Speaker Buttigieg, but I can tell you that I met with Senator Harris yesterday. I also met with Speaker Buttigieg yesterday, and I met with both of them earlier this morning. And I discussed with them the options that I have discussed with each of you this morning. I would invite you to ask of them what their thinking may be, but I can tell you that I was encouraged. I think both individuals understand the seriousness of the problem facing Ohio. I think they both understand the options before us, and I was encouraged by my meetings with them individually, as well as the group meeting we had this morning. But I would encourage you to inquire of them for their thinking, not wanting to presume to answer for them. Governor, you characterized this as postponing the final year of the income tax cut, but hasn't that already taken effect? And wouldn't what you're proposing require that withholding be changed or the income tax rate be raised? And if so, when would that happen? What we are proposing is that for this biennium, the 09 and 010 tax rates remain what they were in 08. What that means is that a family, an individual, or a business that has income consistent with what the income was in 08 would pay no higher taxes than they paid in 08, and quite frankly, would likely pay slightly less than they paid in 08. And so there would be no increase in an individual or a business tax unless that individual or that business had earned more money than they did in 08. But the rate would remain the same. Would you have to increase the rate by 4.2% at some point? I'm sorry? Won't the rate have to increase at some point? Isn't that what you're proposing? No, we're proposing a freezing of the rate at the 208 level. Would there ever be a possibility that somebody would have to write a check back to the state because the tax rate started before now? I will let my tax commissioner address that, but what I am told, and Richard will come up if he would, what I am told is that most people withhold more than is required of them, and that in most cases it would likely result in a refund check being less, but the actual cost of the taxpayer would in almost every case be less than what they made in the previous year if their income remained the same as it was. But I'll let Rich speak to that. Thank you. Maybe I'd like to do one thing first to be clear about what we're talking about, because again, we're talking about a rate freeze for 2009 so that the rate would be the same as 2008, and as the governor said, people will see a small reduction in their 2009 taxes compared to 2008, and that might sound counterintuitive to you. How is there a reduction compared to 2008 when we're freezing the rate? The answer to that is that while we're freezing the rate, we'd be freezing the rates, the rates of the income tax, the personal exemption for the Ohio income tax is indexed, which means that in 2009, the personal exemption will be a little more than 2008, it would be $1,550 instead of $1,500, and that's what you subtract from your 
income before you compute your income tax. So uh, while the tax reductions will be small, uh, there will be reductions when you compare 2009 to 2008, uh, assuming again that the, that, uh, uh, the income is, is the same. Um, on the question, I guess, about uh, refunds, um, the majority of people today get refunds. I think something like three quarters of Ohioans receive refunds. There probably there'll be somewhat fewer that receive refunds, but there will still be a large majority of Ohioans that, that, that do receive refunds. So that basically uh, doesn't change very much. Uh, is that that response to the question? But then, would there ever be a situation where people have already spent this money that uh, the tax cut? Uh, well, I mean, again, roughly 75% of people today get refunds and 25% uh, owe money when they file their return in April. Most people don't know exactly how that's going to come out until they uh, file a tax return. So uh, I don't think most people plan that carefully for what the dollar.